My name's Jeff Dillon. I'm the president here at Dillon Small Batch Distillers. We take local ingredients, either grain, grapes, or fruit, and we turn it into unique spirits. We're uh, a grain-to-glass distillery, so we make everything at Dillon's out of either 100% Ontario rye or 100% 20 Valley grapes. Start to finish, that raw ingredient comes in and leaves as a finished bottled spirit. So Dillon started in 2012, and that first summer I was in the back distilling during the day, and in the evenings I had a friend come down, the two of us gutted this and turned it into the sipping room. Eight years later, here we are. We focus particularly on local stuff, grapes, rye, peaches, plums, strawberries. We have an absinthe garden out front, so we grow all of our botanicals for our, our absinthe here. We also take lots of local grade bee fruit that's been hit by hail or fallen on the ground, and we'll turn that into peach schnapps or plum schnapps. We partner with many farmers. We've got seven grape growers right now that grow wine grapes for us that we'll turn into wine and eventually distill into uh, gins and vodkas. So here at Dillon's, we are mainly known for gin. Uh, but my dream from the start was to make a pure rye whiskey. Whiskey takes a while to age, so filling barrels was the first thing that I did. But uh, in the meantime, we made lots of different gins and became known for that. Love making gin, it's the most fun thing to make, but now that we're uh, eight years old, we finally have real rye whiskey out there as well. So here in Lincoln, we are members of the 20 Valley Tourism Association. We do events constantly, basically every weekend. Here in the sipping room, we take a tasting fee and we donate those to local charities each quarter. It's been like a, a great success. We've been able to promote charities and uh, help great causes. Right now, I think we have about 25 staff. Luckily down here, we've got this amazing base of brewing students and winemaking students. So we started by hiring almost exclusively out of those two programs. But since the beginning, it's kind of been the whole thing's a training program. It's learning while doing, it's bringing people in that haven't distilled before and turning them into distillers. It's been a really cool, fun experience getting to know so many people and seeing people's passions. So future plans for Dillon's, we seem to come out with five or 10 new spirits every year. We're gonna keep growing, keep making really cool spirits, and we're gonna keep on top of this craft distilling thing in Canada.